Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video. We're going to be doing another one of these one page features. Uh, this page is by the artist Paul Pope. I don't know if any of you are familiar with Paul Pope. Uh, for this one, I'm going to cut right to it and start zooming in just because his style there's, is so complex. There's so much going on that uh, showing it in the full page like that for too long isn't really going to do it <laughs> much justice. But um, anyway, as you can see, Paul Pope is a very brushy artist. I first discovered Paul Pope's work when I was studying cartooning in uh, art school. I went to the School of Visual Arts in New York and one of the teachers there uh, turned me on to Paul Pope's work and I fell in love with it immediately. I actually uh, went on like a Paul Pope imitation phase <laughs> uh, for probably about a year of my uh, time at SVA. I was a very very cheap imitation of Paul Pope. Uh, I was highly influenced by his work. Um, and so I was just doing some real kind of like rip off stuff, uh, not intentionally, but when I look back at it, it's, it's cringy, but, uh, yeah, his stuff is incredible. Um, if you ever get the chance to see his original art in person, I've uh, been fortunate enough to see some of his work in various shows, uh, in New York, either at the society of illustrators or uh, at MoCA, but they're huge. So the standard size for a comic book artist, especially like a, a, a mainstream artist is 11 by 17 or within those kinds of proportions. But Paul Pope seems to work at like, I don't know, the pages looked like they were like 18 by 24 or something like that. Uh, they were huge. And you can see he gets so much detail in these shots. Uh, he's primarily a brush artist. Uh, and when I say primarily, it's probably like 99% brush. Um, I love like just the organic quality. Like you could see this establishing shot over here of this, you know, restaurant cafe area. It's so brushy. Like if I could zoom in, I'm not sure if the, if it's going to get too pixelated, but right over here, um, these are just like suggestions of people. It almost looks like, like abstract art when you zoom in like look at that look at these people over here but it creates such an energy because really with comics you, it's you're just showing symbols of things like this should read as a busy cafe restaurant with people moving around it's very lively so one artist might choose to draw that very very uh, strictly very detailed um, and Someone else might in choose to interpret it a little bit more abstractly and capture more of the uh, the energy and the emotion of the scene. And I feel like Paul Pope does that really well. For an artist who has a very organic um, style, a very fluid, brushy line, and an artist who um, references a lot of like abstract modern art and genres well outside of comic art, it's really cool that he's able to cross over and do both the uh, self-publishing world as well as the mainstream comic world. So uh, he did a Batman miniseries called Batman Year 100. Uh, that was his very unique take on Batman, um, kind of futuristic, a uh, little bit sci-fi. Um, it was really cool. And then he's able to do this stuff that uh, is much more... Uh, I guess in the self self published vein of, of comics. So it's awesome stuff. I, I love that kind of range. Um, also, one thing I should say is as a New Yorker myself, Paul Pope captures the, the feel of New York so well, like this scene right here. That's so <laughs> that's like the Lower East Side in the, you know, the thick of the winter, it's freezing. Um, you could just hear that, you know, that those shoes sludging through that snow right there. Um, I know exactly what that feels like. It's so, so well done. He captures New York really well. Um, as far as I know, he's lived in New York for a very long time. So, uh, he's, he's kind of incorporated that into his art, even with the Batman project, um, Gotham city looked exactly like <laughs> the Lower East Side. Um, he's definitely bringing in his real life, uh, you know, environment into his work. Um, 
so yeah i wanted to definitely make a video i was going to do like a full style study video just on paul pope and i i would love to do that in the future uh, let me know definitely in the comments below if you'd like to see more of his work the hardest thing like i mentioned in a previous video with these one pagers is that i want to show a lot more <laughs> i want to show like a much broader um body of an artist's work but i also think that for these types of videos I don't want to make them too long and I I want to just focus in on one particular page and um, hopefully if you're not already familiar with the artist it sparks an interest in you and makes you want to um, you know do more of your own research but I'll leave uh, some links down below if you're not familiar with Paul Pope's work by the way this page is from a book of his called 100% and uh, I've read probably most if not everything that he's done and this is my favorite of all his uh comic work so i would definitely recommend this one i'll leave a link for it down below but batman year 100 is fantastic if you could get your hands on his uh, thb series that's um that's where he really first started out doing self-publishing it's kind of where he was able to develop his name um if you get your hands on some of those they're hard to find they're much more rare um but those are incredible He's just done a ton of stuff over the years. So, yeah, thanks for joining me on this one-page showcase of Paul Pope's work. Um, I had fun looking at this stuff. So, yeah, uh, thanks, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.